Dear Adversity, thank you for the opportunity. Let's talk some basketball. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back in to another episode for Just a Bet Outside. I'm your host, Steven, and we are back with another week of NBA basketball. And we know what's happening right now, guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's the worst losing streak of the season for me, that's for sure. Um, You know what? If you just joined the channel, I apologize. But we will turn this around, and I am very due for some good luck. So that just makes me that much more dangerous, I think. But um, it's time to get back on track. We only got a four-game slate on Monday, um, but you know what? We got to. I'm just ready. I've been grinding away. Um, you're going to face things like this, and we're just going to have to bounce back because that's why they call it gambling, and we will. So I got a few things to talk about real quick. The first one is breaking news. I just bought a new microphone. For you people that absolutely hate the sound coming out of this microphone, we are going to have a new microphone hopefully later this week. So just want to let you guys know. Hopefully we can improve the sound and, and quality and all that. So... Um, if you did follow our golf video, we had a nice weekend, won a couple units, hit a top 20, and we had a guy for another, another guy for a top 20, Mr. Jake Knapp, and he won the tournament outright. That was pretty cool to see. But, um, we also, thanks to you guys, have a new sponsor that you will be hearing about. It is called Better Bet, BTR Bet. Um, as you guys know, I don't just give you guys anything. Um, I have to believe in it. We have to like it in order to give it to you guys. This is a very unique one, and we're going to have a video from one of the creators later this week. A real quick couple minutes to just explain how this works. Um, but what it is, is it just, it, it's an incredible app that really tracks all of your bets throughout the year. So if you're someone that's just kind of throwing all these bets and don't know how you've been doing all year, all month, things like that, it syncs automatically to all of the, most of the sports books that you use. So when you put a bet in, it goes right into the better, better bet. It tells you, hey, what odds was it? Minus 120, minus 110. Was it a player prop, game bet, things like that. And then you can go back and analyze what sports book you're betting better at, what type of props you're betting better at, things like that. It is absolutely incredible. It has much, much more than that. I'm just trying to give you some of the info. It also helps with your end-of-year taxes because you have absolutely everything right there. Uh, they have a free version, and then they have a pay version, which is $35 a month. Um, it's incredible, but um, we are gonna we just set it up, so we are gonna have the link below in the morning. We don't have the exact um, link yet, so stay tuned for that. It'll be in the description below, but it's pretty incredible. And like I said, we'll have somebody here to uh, explain all of it more to you because he is one of the creators. But it's awesome, especially if you are, are someone that likes to be organized with all your bets and uh, and just have it automatically done for you, so you can go back and look through the weeks, through the months, and all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, better bet, BTR bet is what it's called. We'll be talking about it more as we go, but I just want to introduce it. So, um, But I'm ready to get going. There's no time for dad jokes. It's time to get serious here. Um, but in this video, we're going to recap the absolutely horrendous weekend that we had. Absolutely terrible. Hopefully you faded me, because if you did, you had a very good weekend. But uh, then we're going to talk defenses versus the point guard position. We're going to talk last 30 days. Defenses that give up the most points, rebounds, and assists to the point guard. And then we only got a small four-game slate, but we'll give you a best bet. And uh, hopefully have another added one in the morning. And then we finish it off with the bets recap. I am ready to get back into it. I am sick of losing. And uh, it starts today, guys. I don't care if there's four games, one game, 100 games. I want some freaking winners. So hit that like button. Leave a comment below. And by the way, speaking of comments, you guys are freaking unbelievable. Whenever I get a YouTube comment after I, lo I lose, I'm usually just waiting for this message that's some negative hate. But you guys have been staying positive. You guys are commenting, you know, keep your chin up. We're going to turn this around, all this stuff. I appreciate it. You guys make me want to continue this grind day in and day out. So um, this community is incredible. But if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as we chase our first 21,000 subscribers. It's been a fun journey, and we are ready to finish strong, have a much better week this week. So, all right, let's get it started. And it starts with the bets recap. All right, there's not a lot to say here. It was absolutely terrible. We have lost seven in a row, and I'm going to throw up. No, I'm just joking. We're going to figure it out. But Friday was just, um, it was ugly. I didn't write down every bet because it would have been just overwhelming on this page. But uh, we had a teaser. Clippers got it done. The Hawks lost at home to the Raptors. Raptors, it sucked. And then the T-Wolves, Anthony Edwards, Anthony scored 12 or 25. But the T-Wolves could not beat the Milwaukee Bucks at home. It was ugly. And then the Hornets was the long shot for a half unit. They had the worst first half in the history of the NBA, I think. No, they didn't. But they scored 29 points. It was unbelievable. Uh, those are just some of them. Saturday, Drew Holiday ended two PRA short because he got one freaking rebound. The guy averages six rebounds a game, and he got 
freaking one. Go figure. But uh, Wendell Carter under. Uh, he got hurt in the first half, didn't play a ton, had two at halftime, and then decided to grab six rebounds in the third quarter alone and go over the under eight and a half. It was just absolutely ugly. And then Sunday I only did one play for a half unit, and thank goodness I didn't do more than one because it probably wouldn't have gone well. But Buddy Heald apparently is not going to play as many minutes as he was. I did not know that game plan, but he played 27 minutes and shot four of 13. Every player and every team that I bet on right now is shooting a bunch of freaking bricks building houses everywhere. But that just means we're due. So I'm not going to complain anymore. It was terrible. I want to flush the weekend. I want to move on. As you can see, we're up over four units, which is just bizarre to me because we were up almost 15 units just like a week ago, a week and a half ago. So it's it can be humbling. Sports betting can be very humbling. But again, it's a three-day period in a long season. So I'm ready to bounce back. Um, as you can see right there, 136 and 129 up 4.01. But of course, in the words of Vince Lombardi, winners never quit and quitters never win. So let's move forward. And it starts with the point guard position. All right. Back by popular demand is my wife's color coding system. Yeah, that's right. We saw all the comments. You guys inflated her ego too much. So she wanted to go back and do it for you guys. Apparently, it looks nicer than I did. And she's probably right. So anyways, we got the point guard position points given up. Uh, number four is the Detroit Pistons. They are facing Jalen Brunson and the New York Knicks. Brunson has been on a tear, averaging almost 32 points per game. Pistons are struggling versus the point guard position. Obviously, you always got that blowout potential, but uh, this is a great matchup for him. That's the only matchup we got for the point guards, at least, um, because there's only four games. We got Luke up there, averaging the most. Steph Curry, SGA, the usual guys that are up here all the time. Uh, Trey Young is hurt, and he is going to be out for a little while, so that's why you see DeJounte Murray down there because he is now going to be playing point guard. So I just want to make sure you guys knew why I updated that. He has obviously been shooting guard the whole year, but he's now going to be playing point. So anyways, those are the 10 defenses giving up the most points to the position. Let's go over to the rebounds now. And we got the Grizzlies facing Ben Simmons, who is questionable because that is his middle name, Ben Simmons questionable. Uh, six rebounds per game for Simmons. Uh, Grizzlies giving up almost seven rebounds, but it may not matter if he is not playing. Other than that, how about Mr. Trey Mann, six and a half, Luca, James Harden, DeJounte Murray, of course, like we just talked about, uh, so on and so on, with the Hawks giving up the most, as well as the Nets, Grizzlies, Celtics, all up there, almost seven rebounds per game given up to that position. So that's the rebounds. Take another screenshot. And again, just a reminder, these are the last 30 days because of the All-Star break. I didn't want to do 15 days. Um, I'm going to do 30 probably for most of this week, and then we'll go back to 15. So um, anyways, here's the assist. Let's check this out. And the number one team giving up the most assists per game is the Toronto Raptors, 10.96. They play the Indiana Pacers on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. Halliburton has, is averaging nine assists per game in the last 30 days. And then the other matchup is the same one we just talked about, the Detroit Pistons facing Jalen Brunson and the New York Knicks. Brunson averaging 7.3 assists with the Pistons giving up nine and a quarter um, of course, Luca's up there, and then Trey Jones, who's just been an assist machine, 10.1 per game. D'Angelo Russell, Cunningham, SGA, all those guys. So, anyways, that's the points, rebounds, and assists to the point guard position. If you are new, we do this every single day, um, and we'll throw on some three-point shooters that are hot and things like that on Wednesdays. Um, but tomorrow, or Tuesday, yeah, we'll be the shooting guard position. So, anyways, hope this helps you go get some winners. But now, it's time to bounce back, and let's talk some best bets. All right, this portion of the video is sponsored by Better Bet, the best place to find, track, analyze, and share your bets. All right, this first bet is going to also take us out of this freaking slump we're in, and it is a player prop parlay. Give me Vince Williams, 6-plus assists, Jalen Brunson, 25-plus points, minus 116 on DraftKings. All right, let's talk about Vince Williams of the Memphis Grizzlies. If you don't know who he is, he is an assist machine right now. In his last six games, he has seven or more in six straight. He's averaging a crazy 12.7 potential assists per game those last six games as well. And you kind of assume if he's close to 13, you think he's probably going to get, in normal at least, is about 50 to 60% of those will turn into real assists. Obviously, it could be higher some games, maybe a little lower. Uh, but that is the 15th most in the NBA and the most on the Grizzlies team. He's practically a point guard. So he plays small forward, but he's practically a point guard. He's mentioned before how he's trying to get a triple-double. It is a goal of his. As a better, I love to hear things like that. So this is a guy who played in the Rising Stars game. So he's starting to get recognition about how well he is playing. 
Um, he's going up against the Nets. They're about average in giving up assists to the opponent. Um, nothing huge there, but honestly, this is just, I mean, straight volume. If he's going to get 12 to 13 potential assists, He's gonna have his te- he's gonna need his teammates to just have an average night to get six. That's it. They're gonna have to go really cold. Like I said, he's at seven or more in six straight games. Um, I think he probably goes over the six and a half line if you just want to play that one. But I'm gonna take it down to six plus assists for Vince Williams as the first leg of this player prop parlay. And then the second one, let's be honest, it's just to reduce the odds because it's Mr. Jalen Brunson, 25 plus points. His points line is out 31 and a half right now on some books. I only need 25 and a half, so I am taking it down quite a bit. He has played 10 games this season without Orange Julius Caesar Randall, and in nine of those 10 games, he has covered. He has scored 25 or more points, and in fact, he is averaging 31.8 points per game in those 10 games. So, um, also, not that I care, but just to help you guys, in those 10 games, he's averaging 7.3 assists and 3.4 rebounds per game. But for the points, again, I don't know if I said this enough. He only needs 25. Um, he's facing a Pistons team that you saw earlier in this video and those beautiful arrows and colors that my wife used. The Pistons are giving up the fourth most points to the point guard position in the last 30 days at 26.51 points per game. It's an absolute dream matchup. I know the worry here is a blowout, but you would assume if there's a blowout, Brunson's going to score 25 points. I mean, you you would just think that. Um, and this is kind of blowout proof. I'm taking it down from 31 all the way down to 25. So, Elite matchup, all I need is 25 from Brunson. Give me that, and Vince Williams, six-plus dimes yet again. And that is my first and only bet on the video because there's not a ton out. we got teams on the second night of a back-to-back, only four games, but I will add a play in the morning. I do have some leans I want to talk about, though. So um, just a few leans. I have not made these bets. This is not saying they are official, but just some things I've been looking at late at night. Um, You know, the night before, obviously, we don't have everything out. But the first one, it's just a quick little Pacers Kings money line parlay. Um, you know, I thought about it. The problem is both teams are on the second night of a back to back. So they're both about six to eight point favorites right now. Pacers at home against the Raptors, Kings at home against the Heat without Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero questionable, all that kind of stuff. I think both teams should win, um, but I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger or not. Like I said, second night of a back to back, and the Pacers have struggled sometimes on that second night. So um, the second one, Nick Claxton of the Nets under 13 and a half rebounds plus assists. He has gone under that in eight straight games now. Now, he's got a pretty good matchup against the Grizzlies for centers, but to me, I just think it's too high. It's not really a matchup thing. Um, It's just a number that's too high because, like I said, under an eight straight, he can get 10 or 11 rebounds, um, and he's lately added three assists every game, but there's a very good chance he also gets one assist. I mean, he's not a guy who just gets a ton of assists. So that's just another uh, lean for me. Uh, third lean, a plus money one. How about Scotty Barnes, double-double? You could sprinkle a little on the triple-double, but probably double-double would be a little safer. Um, he almost had a triple-double last time he played the Pacers just a couple weeks ago. Um, and the beauty of this is Scotty can, and by the way, this guy I have not bet on in a while. Um, he, Scotty doesn't know that, but he can do this in both, rebounds or assists. He has gotten 10-plus uh, rebounds in some games, 10-plus assists. So the beauty is that you have more options. I have not bet this. I don't know if I'll get there. But like I said, if you really just want like a little sprinkle for a huge long shot, Scotty Barnes triple-double, I think it's in the plus 800 range or something like that. It's not a bad idea um, in a good matchup versus the Indiana Pacers. So, yeah, those are my three leans. Scotty doesn't know. Claxton under 13.5 RAs and the Pacers-Kings money line parlay. Again, don't get mad at me if they don't hit. These are just leans because I only give you one bet. I want to give you as much information and as many ideas as possible to help you guys with your research. So that's my bet. Let's check out that huge recap. All right, the one and only bet is Vincent Williams, six plus dimes, and Jalen Brunson, 25 plus points, minus 116 on DraftKings. I don't remember if I said it, but this is like minus 145 on FanDuel right now. So this is incredible value. Um, and that's our bet to get us out of the slump. But I will more than likely have an added play in the morning as well uh, once more about, um, props come out and lines and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to get out of this slump. I appreciate all the support and the positivity from this community. You guys are awesome. Uh, just a quick reminder, if you are still listening to the video, um, MLB American League preview and futures bets video will be out later this week. We are excited to talk some baseball. I got my buddy Brad coming on. Um, So that's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully we can get another golf video out this week and win some more money as well. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a great Monday and we'll talk to you soon.